Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are going shopping at Hobby Lobby and at the end of the video I'm going to be sharing with you a home decor haul of all the fun fall items that I picked up. Definitely make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy these shop with me videos and make sure you're subscribed to my channel before you go. Let's go ahead and get shopping. So this year I wasn't looking for anything too specific. I got so much home decor last year since I did have fall in my house last year. I have already accumulated a bunch of really amazing fall decor pieces, but I did want to get a few new things and right when I walked into the store, these were like the first two or three aisles that I walked down. They were right front and center and they were stocked to the brim with fall things. And I was very impressed with the amount of things they had this year for different styles. So if you are not into farmhouse decor, that is totally okay because they had a little bit of everything for everyone. Next Sunday. Had so many items in this buffalo plaid pattern and if you guys know me then y'all know I love this pattern and I really want to start incorporating it into my house a little bit more because it is the perfect neutral and then you can change it out for different seasons this is definitely a pattern for fall and winter so I definitely think that if I get a few of these items I will keep them for both but they had so many different styles like I said and I definitely know that blue is in this year, rose gold and golds, and they have tons of items in these different colors. So not just farmhouse stuff. So you definitely want to go check it out if you like those types of colors and textures. And then they had lots of different base fillers. You could use these for different things, but I am looking for items for my tiered tray. And they had tons of pumpkins that were wrapped in velvet. And I know that that is a texture and a fabric that is really in right now as well. So if those things interest you, then I would definitely make a trip to Hobby Lobby. to jump into the haul and show you guys everything that I got at Hobby Lobby and I was pretty impressed with how much I got I spent just a little bit under $60 and most of this stuff I'm using in multiple spaces in the house as you will see when I do my fall clean and decorate with me video so if you don't have your notifications turned on definitely make sure you do so because you don't want to miss that video but I grabbed a lot of stuff that I'm going to use in different spaces some on my tiered tray some on my wreath um, different spots in the house like that so that is a great way to save money let's go ahead and jump right into all the stuff that I got so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys are these really really cute um, like almost like little mini cake stands and I had been wanting something to put my dish soap and my hand soap on in the kitchen and I didn't have anything for fall and I have for spring and like normal like times of the year regular times of the year I have a white and a floral tray from the Grove Collaborative and they didn't really come out with a fall one and so I thought that these would look super cute and give a little bit of height um, to the counter so these were only like a dollar a piece and they are ceramic really nice quality so I'm really excited to see how these look with my new fall scent um, hands up and just soaps. I cannot wait for those to come in so the next thing that I got, I don't know where it's going to go, but I love these things because they are so inexpensive. And I think it's because there's a print on one side and then the back is just plain. And I think that's kind of how they cut down on cost. But wherever I put it, as long as the front side is facing out, then you wouldn't even know that the back side doesn't have anything on it. So I am really excited to find a spot for this, maybe on my mantle or somewhere, but it just says fall, sweet fall. And then it has the buffalo check on this other little pumpkin. And this was like three dollars so they had a ton of things like this they had little tiny ones that you could use on a tiered tray and other things like that so definitely check out hobby lobby if you are looking for some tiny little inexpensive things to use in your decorating the next thing i got was just a roll of buffalo check 
ribbon and this is wired ribbon I believe yes it is wired ribbon so I have a plan to use this on my boxwood wreath on my front door and the reason that I got a boxwood wreath from Target was because I figured I could decorate it for every season just by changing out little picks and ribbons and things to make it more seasonal that way I don't have to get like a new wreath every single season I also have a couple of other spaces in the house that I want to use a wreath so I figured it would look really cute if I put my seasonal wreath somewhere else and then just decorated my front door wreath every season with ribbon and picks and stuff so I'm sure I probably will not use all this ribbon for the front door wreath and so I can use it in some other spaces make some little bows I was even thinking of updating my garland on my mantle and maybe putting some of this ribbon in that so we will see how I end up using it to go along with the wreath idea with the ribbon, I did get a few different items to put in it. And the first thing that I got were these little pumpkins and they do have picks. And I only got three of them because they're pretty big and heavy. So I didn't want to put too many big things like this on it, but I did get three of them and these were probably a little bit less than a dollar a piece and they just have little like ribs on here so they should stick right in and then you can bend them and twist them however you need to but if for some reason these don't work in my wreath i'm sure that i will find another spot to put them i also got two packages of little fillers and you can use these for vases but i was planning on using these in the wreath and on my tiered tray I'm not exactly sure how i'm going to style my tiered tray yet but we will find out so the first one that i got are some pine cones and I have pine cones that I use for Christmas time, but they are like snowy glittery ones. So these are just plain. And these are the smallest pine cones that they had. I don't know if you guys can see through the bag, like how little they are, but they were super small. So I figured I could probably attach these to my front door wreath somehow. And then the rest of them I will use kind of scattered in my tear tray, some kind of maybe like little centerpiece or something. I'm one of those people that I try to plan for decorating and then usually I just kind of end up making it up as I go along. And then along with the pine cones, I also got a bag of these little mini corn and I love these. I think they are so cute. So I will do the same thing. I will try to attach these and I didn't get anything to attach these with to my wreath. So I will have to find something to attach these with, but then the rest of them will probably go on the tiered tray. I got a plain bag of pumpkins and I had tons of pumpkins from last year and years past, but I did want to get these because I love the Buffalo check and they are actually wrapped in fabric and then the other ones are white. So these will be perfect for the tiered tray. And then again, I can use them in other spaces. I do have a lot more rooms to decorate. So I'm really glad that I stocked up on pumpkins last year and then I got a few more this year. So I can kind of spread them out. And I love when different rooms in the house have a kind of similar theme. So I will be able to probably spread these out a little bit and put a couple like in the bathroom or in some of the other rooms in the house. The only actual pumpkin that I got this year was this guy here and he is wrapped in burlap and has these really pretty, they're like metal leaves on the top. I'll have to cut the little tags off, but it's super soft and squishy and it will go nice. Most of my pumpkins are actually really hard. So I like that this one has some texture to it and it's just kind of like a burlap, which is really nice. So I will add this to my collection of pumpkins. We don't really have a plan for sure yet what we're doing for Thanksgiving this year, but I went ahead and got these because there have been several times that I have needed little picks for um, cheeses or I'm trying to think like other olives maybe things where you need food picks or little forks to kind of pick up your food and I love these they say thankful and grateful and other little words like that on there and I just think that these are so cute and these were I guess two dollars two fifty maybe and they're just so cute. They had them, you'll probably, you probably saw the clip. They have um, gold ones and they have silver ones too. And I just picked these up because I thought that these went the best with my decor and my style, but I really love these. The last thing that I got is really big and it's a rug and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this in the kitchen. I haven't fully decided yet, but I have a little mat in the kitchen currently that is very spring and summery and it's just not gonna work for the fall. And this will probably actually transition into winter really nicely because I do love to decorate with plaid and it's pretty neutral since it's black and white. So I was kind of thinking, how can I get the most bang for my buck? So it's a pretty big rug. Um, I'm not gonna open it up all the way, but it will work, I believe, hopefully in my kitchen. And I'm trying to think. So this rug was like $8. <laughs> so definitely go check out Hobby Lobby. They had so much stuff. Everything that was fall was 50% off when I went. And then if you get something that is not 
um, like on clearance or part of the 50% off, they do have a 20% off one item coupon on their website. So you can use that for like a non-sale item. You can use it for like a regular, regular full price item. So everything that I got was fall, but I did see a lot of really, really cute things that would just be kind of nice regular home decor for my, um, my house. And so usually I will use that 20% off coupon on something that is not on sale. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if your bell notifications are not turned on, you definitely want to make sure that you do that because my fall clean and decorate with me is going to be coming out very very soon and i will see you guys again very soon with a brand new video bye guys we should be good but we keep out of fires the way should be because we're scared of the silence we should be good but we keep out of fires fires around ourselves it's deja vu